Okay, so new Kanye West album. It's gonna be an interesting one. I think of all the videos that I've put out in the past year, this is probably the one that I'm the least confident to attempt. I've just never tried to make anything like it. But regardless, in today's one, I'm going to be trying to make a beat in the style of Kanye West's new album, Vultures One. The reference track I'm trying to emulate hovers around 140 BPM. I think I'm gonna take it a bit higher. I'm gonna go to 168. And now I think I'm gonna look for some inspiration because I have basically no idea what I'm gonna do for this. First thing you hear is like these old Memphis rap vocals. So I think I might start out with that and then see where I go from there. Bearing in mind, I've never made like funk or anything like that. So I have like no experience mixing these vocals either. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I don't know what he's talking about, but he sounds confident about something. I mean, it's something. I think we found it. 71 BPM though, that's kind of slow. I know in the reference track it has a really aggressive bass line. Normally I would rely on one shots for that, but I'm just gonna use Trillion this time. this for now because I'm gonna add another baseline later. I want a more aggressive sample to work with so I might just search grit and just see what comes up. I mean this one has grit in the name right? <laughs> Okay, I really like the dissonance at the end of that sample, so I might use that. I'm gonna lay that with a couple more snares. I feel like I need another percussion sound to be honest. Maybe this one. I do not mind like layering eight different drum sounds on top of each other to be honest so that's exactly what i'm gonna do yeah i'm just gonna lay these on top see what that sounds like i think before i put together a bass line i might throw like a percussion loop on there or something that was very loud Okay, it's sounding good so far, I think. I don't know, the baseline could really ruin this. I'm gonna need a decent 808. Bro, I feel like this 808 just called me a slur. Bro, you funk producers are crazy to have these sounds blasting in your ear all day. This one's the most conservative one, so I'm gonna go with that.
Honestly, bro, I don't know about this baseline. I think if it grows on me, fair enough, but I may have to change it. Okay, but now my question is, do these drums really work with the guitar sound that I had earlier? I don't really know how much of a yay type beat this is, I can't lie. Really different from what I usually make, but I think with the mix down, it's gonna sound good. So I think real quick, I'm gonna mix it down, arrange it, and then we can play the final beat. Okay, this actually turned out to be a pretty simple beat. I've added a couple things just to keep it a bit more interesting. First up, I found this pretty cool vocal one shot that I added at the start of every bar. So of course, I threw some delay on that and some reverb. <laughs> I think it sounds pretty cool. Another new sound I added, I noticed some sort of pluck embellishment in the reference track, so I thought I'd add some sort of sci-fi type sound to it. And it didn't really sound like much by itself, so I threw a couple of effects on it. <laughs> I also added a couple of cinematic transitions and effects. Uh, what else did I change? I also didn't want the main melody to get too repetitive, so I've chopped it up a little bit here. I also got bored and added this heartbeat effect. Problem with this sample is I don't like being aware of my own anatomy. So when I hear the heartbeat sound, I start manually breathing. And now so are you. For reasons that I don't really care to explain, I'm also not going to add an acapella to this beat. So I think I'm gonna leave the beat like this for now. And real quick, I'm just gonna see what it sounds like. Okay, honestly, not as bad as I thought. I'm still really not sure about the bass line, I can't lie. I think the 808 sounds way better on the guitar melody than it does with the main melody. I'm not too sure why. I also don't really think this beat sounds like anything from the album. I think my favorite part of the beat is probably the stupid percussion sounds that I added. Very interested to see what people think of this album. I'd say in regards to production, I could learn a lot from this album for sure. But of course, thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. Of course, if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. So I'm gonna play the beat one final time just to see what I can do better for next time.